Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to uh, start a project from scratch, mainly using Spring Boot. We're going to use how uh, we can use a cool feature of Spring Boot and implement that in Cucumber Test. Uh, this one is going to be uh, the project from scratch. So I have uh, I'm using IntelliJ for this purpose, and uh, it is just a blank project. Right now, I have just uh, a folder, blank folder here, and we're going to write a project here. So to get that, um, we're going to start with a new project. Uh, I'm going to use a Maven for this, and we'll hit next. Uh, here, we're going to fill up some of the information. Um, I'm going to name the, uh, this project as a Cucumber Test. And then the group, we're going to use that uh, in my repo. So I'm going to use, uh, I will use the other project. So com dot So I'm going to name this com uh, robust dot spring boot. The version can remain same. And then I'm going to use this uh, location to the different one. So I updated the location and then we're going to hit finish. So as soon as we do that, we get this basic skeleton built up. Um, on this purpose, we are going to use a uh, spring initializer that is uh, in the spring website, which we can get it going through uh, spring.io and get it started. And then we get up to this uh, phase. We got some of these dependencies to build a Spring Boot based project, so we will copy this value and we will put it here. So now I'm going to just put it down and we're going to clean up. So, with that, we don't need any of this above one that's already there. We are going to use our group so that will come here. So, I put it here and we don't need the dummy one. So we're going to remove this thing and the name will put our name and this will be the description as cucumber um, spring boot and then we don't need the web version so we want to see the starter version and pretty much we should have this aligned. So we're going to run, uh, save it all first. And it should be all fine. Let's see that we have this little bit here that can be removed. So now save it. Control S for saving. Once it builds up, it should be fine as well. So. Uh, let's go to Maven here. You can click any of this refresher. Uh, I'll click the M button here. And what I do, I'll first try to just clean up Maven clean and I double click here. So it is going to scan for the project. It's a good success. So that means it is all good so far. So now it hasn't packaged anything yet. So what we do is we click Maven again. The good way to do it is clean clean package and then just hit there and now it will try to download all required dependencies that is based on the Cucumber um, uh, Spring Boot. We haven't reached the Cucumber yet so we're going to see what's the problem. So it says the 2.5.2 version is uh, not good so let's go back there and we'll check that. So looking at the error, it says unable to find the main method, so which is uh, uh, it is looking for the, the class. So right now our project is just blank, that's why it is complaining. We should have a class uh, here, so that's what the Spring Boot always looks out for. So we will add that, but before that I want to add and update this to a um, little bit uh, later version, so 2.5.2. For this we're going to rebuild it, Maven package 
it will again fail with that, but that is fine. Okay, that's what expected. So we're going to create a new um, new main uh, Java class here inside the main Java new package first. So the package will try to match with our group. So com dot robust. Spring Boot. Uh, we can, we're going to get one more layer, so Cucumber. So that's the convention we are going to follow going forward. So here I'm going to create a new Java class. So this is going to be, uh, we're going to name Cucumber. Cucumber Test Application. So the, First thing we need to do here is we need to add the annotations so Spring Boot understands. Spring Boot application. It's fine, let that be here now. Um, after that, what we need to do here is uh, we need to add a main method which will be public. Spring application with run, and then we need to add this class name here. Okay, we will build it again, and we will see what it does. Fill it again. So this one, the error here, we will see why this is such an important. Um, <coughs> so it was just a Maven update uh, issue. So we will, now it is showing up. We just need to refresh. So let's see if I can Alt and Enter will give me this option import class. So now it's good here. Alt and Enter. So now we just saved it. Let's build it one more time and we should see this success this time. And everything should be fine. Okay, cool. So what we did here is we started the basic uh, project from scratch using a Spring Boot application. We haven't done anything related to Cucumber or automation test yet. Uh, that will be our next phase. Um, so we will do that at that we are now. That is fine for now. Okay, so uh, it was only the version missing here, and then that got uh, good after just adding this, this version. E just mapped with whatever spring parent version is and then that lets us everything going here and uh, so we have a blank here so let's go to to recap so in this uh, mainly this project only has a palm related changes so we copied most of this items skeleton from uh, a spring website the spring website will be when you go to the spring when you get started you will see this slider here and then copy these values um, only one thing different what I did here is what they recommended two, uh, five but uh, I'm picking latest person from that and then everything else the same we just updated our group IDs with how we want it in our part um, so this is changed customized to ours and uh, rest uh, what I removed is I removed the wire because our main purpose is for testing we're not actually building any web app, so um, and everything is just as usual, and we added a version on top of this, so that's all. So that is all for uh, this uh, this part, um, and after that, 
what we did is we go to Maven project. So what we did, hit Maven, and you can basically hide anything. So Maven clean and package. You can do clean install. Uh, they pretty much are the same. They will just package it out, and then once you do that, it will try to uh, download all of the required jars and uh, also uh, it will set that up so after that in our coming next video um, uh, what we will do is and this this jar will be under m2 folder at your uh, whatever workspace you have um, in your local computer after this we are going to add some of the cucumber related jars and those will be not a new thing uh, uh, with what we did in our other videos and that is going to now further integrate with uh, Spring Boot based. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do follow uh, the next video after this, which is going to be uh, very interesting, which is how we will uh, continue on the same package. And uh, we're going to make some series of this so that you can get started on Cucumber items. Thank you so much. And I will be putting this into my repo and I'll post that as well. Thank you. And if you have enough, please subscribe my channel, support my channel, and we will um, we will add more videos. Thank you.